Let's get to the college football playoff rankings. They were released last night, coming in at one, Tennessee. Or excuse me. Yeah, Tennessee. Tennessee at one. Yep. Ohio State at two. Georgia at three. Clemson. Clemson at four. After that win over Syracuse. Michigan at five. <laughs> Bama at six. TCU at seven. Uh, look. Michigan. And all you Michigan fans, hear me out. Okay? Let's play a little game. Let's do this little exercise here. Where we agree... On where your team is at. Michigan, your team, in my opinion, is one of the four best teams in the country. I don't care what the committee says. I think you're one of the four best teams in the country. I think if you were to line up today against Clemson, you would dominate them. You probably wouldn't pump more than once or twice at most. If you were to line up against TCU, I think you'd do the same. Oh. If... I do. Even though they struggle in the red zone? Doesn't you think matter. They wouldn't punt. Now, I, I think the struggling in the red zone thing is one overblown and two. Okay. I look at the sample size. Yes, the Michigan State game wasn't their best red zone efficiency performance. But if they would have, they probably would have won by 40. They just. Style keep... points. I get it. I <laughs> yeah. get it. But I think Michigan is one of the four best teams in the country. And Michigan fans, you tell me what you think of this. Destiny's in your hands. That's it. There's yeah. nothing to worry about this ranking. And I'm not trying to undermine it. It's a great talking point every week. Uh, I think it's interesting to see where the committee is at. Clearly, they value the 5-0 and record that Clemson has versus teams over 500 compared to Michigan's. Right. Uh, and that's all good and dandy. Uh, I just, I'm sorry. There is an eye test involved. And so I always get frustrated with these type of rankings and with this committee. But regardless... Michigan, you went out, you will be in the college football playoff. That is a fact. Right. Michigan, you went out, but lose to Ohio State. That's where things get interesting. Because a one-loss ACC champion, a one-loss maybe Big 12 champion, a one-loss... Possibly SEC. Pac-12, maybe yeah. two-loss Pac-12 champion, a one-loss SEC champion. All right, cool. So what we have here is Ohio State likely at one in that scenario. If Tennessee wins out, it'll just be Tennessee and no other SEC team in there. And then you got to think, who's going to be in there? And now we're talking about an undefeated TCU. Maybe, maybe not. We'll see if they run the table. I doubt it. Their defense is way too uh, sketchy. They're going to lose a game eventually. I'm not taking the team out of the Pac-12. Or at least I don't believe I am. I, we'll wait and see. Yeah, I would agree with you there. Bo Nix, go on the road. Good luck, Oregon. You're not running the table the rest of the year. Good luck with that. So now the, the only true opportunity Michigan has, and this is why I think the, the initial ranking is so bogus, is I am trying to f find a way right now, if I'm the committee, to get Michigan in there as soon as possible. Because I do think they're one of the four best teams. And if I'm doing this final four for the college football playoff, if Tennessee runs the table, they beat Georgia somehow, some way, on the road this week. They win out. They beat Bama in the SEC title game. Hell, let's forget it. If they do all that, there will only be one SEC team in there. But the likely scenario that will happen is Georgia will win on Saturday. Georgia will run the table. But what happens if Georgia loses to Bama? So now you have two one-loss SEC teams, two one-loss Big Ten teams, two champions between the two. <laughs> it gets tricky. It gets tricky. So Michigan, frustrated. I'm frustrated for you that you're not in the top four, but at the end of the day, you control your destiny. You, you went out. You're in. <laughs> it's that simple. <laughs> I mean, this was the reality last year. You, you lost to Michigan State. We all sat up here. We had the conversation. Chill on the panic button. You run the table. You beat Ohio State at home. You will be in the Big Ten uh, championship game. And if you win that game, you will be in the college football playoff. And what do you know? That's exactly how it worked out. So, yes, I don't want to get too worked up over the first initial release. And, yes, I think Clemson a bit overrated. But Michigan's best case scenario is that Hendon Hooker is the Heisman winner. 
that him and Tennessee run the SEC. Because now you won't have two SEC teams in there. You just have one. And now, now I'd be way more comfortable saying I'm willing to backdoor in a Michigan mm. and one other champion. Right. I could make that case. Or Ohio State. Again, I, I think I think Michigan and Ohio State are two of the four best teams in the country. Yeah. I just do.